Good morning, it's Wednesday, the 17th of July. If you have your Bibles, turn to Colossians 3, verse 13. Colossians 3, verse 13. Mm. Good coffee for coffee with God. After telling us that we must put on a heart of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, after putting that on, listen to what verse 13, bearing with one another, and forgiving each other, whoever has a complaint against anyone, just as the Lord forgave you, so must you do also. I guess the essence of this verse that really hits my heart is that at a point in time, while I was rebellious, while I was angry, while I was deep in my sin, while I was even unaware of a savior or the need to look for a savior, God accepted me. And then he straightened me out. Unity starts with acceptance. When someone disagrees with you, finding agreement is not unity. Accepting that person is the start of unity. Accepting that that person can have a different point of view, a different opinion, that they have a right to their disagreement in the conversation. Once you accept someone's and you validify their presence, once you acknowledge that there's a living, breathing gift from God who's at loggerheads, who's got a complaint, who's arguing, who's, uh, then remember that at one point while you were argumentative and rebellious, God graciously, amazingly, accepted your existence, accepted your bad life was worthy for his son to die for. And as you repent and believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, your sins were forgiven you and the relationship could be taken to the next level. But before forgiveness, there had to be acceptance of your existence at least. And today, maybe you need to just accept somebody's existence. You, you've you been trying to ignore, you've been trying to not think of them, you've been trying to erase, delete, reformat, get them out of your life. Start with acceptance and see where it takes you. Uh, and allow the Lord to remind you that you've been forgiven much and maybe you need to open your heart to the possibility of forgiveness that comes from acceptance. Think about that.